is the only fair Yoshi matchup. Um, every other matchup that Yoshi plays, he cheats. But you can't cheat against a cheater. So this is where we're going to see a lot of fair play. Uh, but also a lot of Yoshi can... Because Yoshis are really familiar with Yoshi's disadvantage, they're really good at recognizing when their opponent is actually in a bad spot because they know what that feels like. And as we're seeing right now, that's what Miles is doing here, recognizing the resources that Suarez is lacking all of his damage, and it continues to rack up. Miles still continuing with that aggression, <laughs> taking that first stock. Suarez has quite the uh, comeback to be making right here. But uh, yeah. we're going to see him immediately off to the races, trying to scrap, but Miles immediately noping out of that situation. Yeah, Miles' advantage stage is just so good. You see it. The way that he will barely position himself out of his opponent's range when they're in hit stun. You know, just he's so good at turning a single conversion, especially one of those up airs, into just massive damage. Ooh, good down tilt. Yoshi down tilt actually quite good in the matchup, uh, especially because it like low profiles him for some moves. It like gives him a kooky advantage. Didn't I didn't di that up smash, but Miles living regardless. I don't know if he has a jump. He does. Okay, he makes it back to stage. As far as really looking to take the stock right here, not quite finding it off the back air. He definitely could have gotten the up air. I don't think he reacted in time. He's he's an old man. Can't react like these young kiddos like Miles. Yeah, Miles, Miles is like proving a new school to Suarez right now. Uh, taking a dominating presence in this game right now. Still holding on to that 134. Almost getting the chase, too, for uh, Suarez's second stop. What a trade! Ah, and Suarez with the chase down. That was actually fantastic. But now he's at 132. He is at zero, actually. He is on his last stock. And Miles with really good advantage. Yoshi is a character that if he wants to play and force the other Yoshi to approach. Look at this oh chase of the downers. Ooh. The up top. <laughs> the rubber is here. He's bringing it to us. He's going to town. Chasing him down. Taking him to the Ooh. sky. Putting him back in that corner. Miles put himself in a really good position to close out this first game against Suarez. And, and this is so dangerous. And oh, there yeah. we go. Yeah. The sour spot fair, closing it out. Yeah, and not only that, it's when you are down by that much against a Yoshi, it's so, so hard because he still has frame three neutral air. And if you are at 150, 160, that move will kill you from a lot of places on stage. So you have to not only make a massive comeback, but you also have to do it where you never give him the chance to threaten three neutral air you, you know? Um, but one of the interesting things about that game, normally when I see Yoshi sort of push advantage in the ditto, it has to do with putting the Yoshi off stage, you know, knowing what beats double jump bomber. In that game, instead it was Miles just catching landings. You saw that. Suarez would hit a button, and he would just be outside of range, punish him with up air, punish the air dodge. He was always just sharking underneath him, and ooh, but let's see how this goes. Yeah, Yoshi's yeah, We're busting out the good old Tekken tunes on small battlefield. Miles trying to make, I see Suarez is trying to take the fight to Miles, keeping things more constrained, more tight. But uh, we're going to see Miles keeping Suarez up over here on the plats, still keeping him at bay, almost getting that fair too, but uh, Suarez escaping from that situation. Yeah, I'm, okay, Suarez, I'm liking this being, being a little bit more patient when he's on the ledge. Throwing out those eggs, it can be risky because, uh, you know, they can get punished. But if Miles has not shown him the ability that, to punish, you know, an egging Yoshi, then... No Good parry to the down air. Not quite finding that stock from Suarez. Uh, Suarez still hanging on to that first stock, but with a really large deficit. Oh, he has no jump. This is actually a really bad spot for Miles. He's at a 109. There are absolutely ways for Suarez to take it right here. Trying to go super deep. It is worth noting that one of Yoshi's best options when the opponent is off stage like that is back air. But if Yoshi double jumps into the back air, he will eat the first two hits. Yeah, good catch from Suarez out of shield. Uh, Miles still hanging on there, but not for long. Oh, still hanging in with an air. Yoshi's heavy, bro. And Miles is the one who's scared holding shield, and he drops it at the worst possible time. This is a beefy dinosaur. Yeah, no, he has the same weight as Captain Falcon and Link. That explains so much, but Miles still cleaning it up, making it an even game. However, uh, given the ledge to Suarez over here. Trying to find that in, trying to find that one clean hit to start his advantage going. 
one. Yeah, and Miles, he's so good at finding those early up airs. Uh, something that Suarez doesn't necessarily feel too inclined to fish for himself. But so far, he's been doing a good job of uh, dodging Miles in this game. Instead, it feels like most of uh, the damage and the, the pacing has been... Oh, there's a shield break. Oh, is he Yo, dead? Can we see it? I go don't for know he's it. Dead. There we go. Oh, Look he is super dead. With that F smash. <laughs> Getting that shield break, getting a lot of momentum, tacking on that mental damage too. And you know, sometimes for again for some characters, they will get shield poked by the little stars. But Yoshi never gets shield poked, so actually kind of backfired on him right there. And then yeah, that's whole shield popped. And <gasps> yeah, Yoshi double jump armor works really well against spiking moves because of the way that they're programmed in terms of knockback. So he can eat through a lot of spike moves until very late percents. Yeah, Miles going for a chase, but Suarez still holding the advantage right now, catching that air dodge. Yeah, he used the double jump bar to eat that hit. That is, it is worth noting in case you didn't know. Yeah, that's good. It's going to be the end of the game. Uh, in case you didn't know, Yoshi's double jump armor, um, if it does break the threshold, because it's not back based, it's heavy. Uh, if it does break the threshold, he will take the, the amount of armor like I think it's I forget what it is. It might be a hundred units. Basically, he takes amount of amount of knockback minus the one hundred units. So that's why sometimes Yoshi will jump. He'll get hit by like a smash attack and go nowhere because he, he armors through the smash attack. It breaks it, but he takes the reduced knockback. Wow, this character is carried. He doesn't even have to worry about that. Yeah. Now that makes so much sense why uh, Yoshi's just love to jump on the stage for free. Oh but, yeah, uh, no, it is. If you, I mean, granted, if you know how to beat it, because some moves actually do a really good job of breaking a double jump armor. Dash attacks generally have really high base knockback, and a lot of characters will their dash attacks will break double jump armor pretty early. And at that point, Yoshi is off stage without a double jump, and against somebody who knows what they're doing, he is dead. <laughs> Yeah, it's really all about just cashing it right there at the ledge, trying to bait it out and just welcoming, it, welcoming him in to just do whatever he wants. Yeah, and right there you saw he double jumped. We were down there is not a great option uh, against a lot of characters. It is because it covers things like jumping from ledge, but against Yoshi, jumping from ledge will eat through down air. Yeah, and we're still seeing Miles come out with that explosive start, and Suarez still having to play from behind, doing a lot of catch up right about now. Oh. But we saw what happened in the last game. He got Suarez to very high percent, and then Suarez just did an amazing job surviving. And it looks like he's being able to replicate that right now. Neutral air, it's a pretty stale, so it's not enough to send him into the blast zone. Yeah, Suarez yeah. being really careful for these interactions, still trying to find the lead-in with the fear. Uh, crossing up with a down air. Uh, there we go, starting to get started. Ooh. Juggling to the skies. Okay, and there it is. Finally, the back air connecting. Um, one thing that's interesting in this matchup is down air, if the Yoshi down airs uh, a shield. Ooh, because at that point, the shield is very low health, and the opponent can't really shield so much if they don't, they're don't. they worried about it popping. And as a result, you can kind of, for a little bit, play as if they don't have a shield. Yeah, because no sh Yoshi really has good boxing tools, especially with that nair. A lot of his aerials are very good to just dance all around. Yeah, that's a good egg leg. We saw him looking for that. That's been, he's been getting that so consistently. I saw that earlier in bracket as well. The down B, it can cover them popping out on top, or if they're directionally air dodging towards him, it can, uh, ooh, ooh yeah, damage. It really calls him out. But uh, Suarez getting the double back here going online. Uh, not going for the jump, going for the roll. Uh, Suarez covering himself up with the eggs. Very good air dodge, but still finding himself back in the corner. Miles calling out with the up air. Yeah, you saw the first frames of that down B, but the windup was just too much. Suarez now having to play from really far behind. Parry's the big hit of the down B, but doesn't actually, uh, he still gets hit by those stars. Okay, gets the, oh, gets that jab going, so Ooh. he can get his own up air train going on. See, Miles, kind of, he's rolling a lot more than I normally typically see him do. Oh, and, oh my god. Crazy advantage state coming out from Suarez, making a really big lead for himself, not wanting out of this set right now. Oh, I love this platform movement. It's something we saw Miles doing earlier against Mr. L, and he hasn't really messed around with it just yet. Suarez still hanging on for dear life. We got a shield battle going on, looking like Smash 4. 
Oh, he should have been dead right there. There were so many options. In the end, Suarez cleans it up pretty soon after regardless. But Suarez set it back up at the ledge over here, trying to get some extra damage on with the legs, trying to keep Miles from approaching him, taking out his life. But really good chases with the jabs. But Miles still keeping up that aggressive pressure and keeping Suarez in check. Okay. Oh, but 78%. This is actually looking... And so it's going to start getting scary. 87 and I trapped at the ledge. There are actually a lot of options. Up smash right now might very well do it. it oh, now it absolutely will. Both these and characters are actually back. percent. Fight him back still. Down B if it connects. It out. Oh. Okay, that, that neutral there. Really good job getting him off the stage. Can he push the advantage? This is game three right now. They're hitting each other's shield and nothing is actually doing the final the hit. Strap throwing out all the, the, all the back airs. And there Miles it is. Knocking on that back air. And taking the set. <laughs> what a nail biter at the end. Sheesh. That was a really big scramble to just see who could get in first, who can get that back air, who can get that nair to just knock him in that offstage position and just.